All right, so yesterday, my wife and I did some spray paint art for the first time. I was inspired by Nathan Salmon. So as you can see, that Ninja Turtles art above me was all spray paint. And I watched him work. And the two things that stood out to me were like, one, this looks incredible. Two, the basics of it don't look that hard. I think the, the process of painting a planet and then painting the sky and putting stars on it like, it didn't look that hard. You can watch a YouTube video right now, and it's it doesn't look that bad, and it's not that bad. Like, the basic, basic stuff. Like, if you want to paint Ninja Turtles and mountains and all of that, the crazy detail he did after the fact, like, whole other level. But my wife and I tried experimenting with the, the spray paint, and let me show you some pieces that I made. Here's the very first one I made. My goal was just make a planet, put it in space, put some stars, and maybe I can get some sort of like Milky Way thing going if I feel adventurous. And so, I did this. Let me show that here. Let me aim my mic so I can speak a little better and I can talk a little bit about this piece of art here. It looks nice, thank you. Uh, the Oh man, the, the lights are eating this, fortunately. Let me turn down. So, yeah, I can see it's like doing weird stuff. Let me plug the light back on. This is not going to be the ideal way to show it. I don't have my lights configured to show objects. Well, it's it's here to light my face, but... So what I did, you get like a... I got a frisbee, right? Put the frisbee here. You spray just a little bit of black around it to get the outline. And then I sprayed some gold and some orange. And it doesn't really show up well, which is one of the things we learned is that I the best way to do this is with Bristol board. This is like an actual canvas. And so this soaks up a lot of the ink and then it also like is not shiny. So you have to spray a lot. So the, the, the planet is actually really faint and I don't know if I can angle the thing just right. You can't really see it. Um, it's gold and orange and then there's the shading here. So it's a little lighter here and then it kind of fades bl to black here. And then you flick stars, you, you spray paint these two fingers, and then you flick white paint onto the, the backdrop. I would put that on my wall. Nice job. Th thank you. And then I just, like, sprayed a couple of times over just a swoosh to get that sort of, like, Milky Way effect. So that's, that's one. That's the first one. Second time around, it was like... Let's do a planet and a moon with some stars. And so this is what we came up with. Again, the color's not showing up great, as you can see, kind of. There's like a little more blue here, which then fades into a white, and then it's like really dark on this side. And I wanted to have a moon here, which is white and black, and then kind of have the same light source coming from over here. So it's light over here, dark over here. Same kind of idea going on that planet as well. And this is the last one I did on canvas. We, we did two, and we're like, man, this is a lot of fun, but I think we should move to Bristol board. We saw other tutorials that had Bristol board to get more of a glossy look, and then you're not using as much spray paint. So yeah, definitely you need a lot of cans of black spray paint. You'll need some white spray paint. You can actually start doing this stuff with just black and white. If you were to, like, from the very beginning, black, white, you probably need, like, a stencil, like a Frisbee or a cup. Um, you'll want some plastic bags or paper. I'd say not newspaper, like a stronger paper. Um, Bristol board, and I think that's it. Oh, gloves. You'll want gloves and a mask. So, <laughs> you can do it for... I mean, it's not a cheap hobby. Like, I feel like, oh man, I'm just gonna buy all the spray paint now <laughs> to do this. But you can, you can do it with just a couple of things. Three more pieces. So this one was the first one on Bristol board. And let me see how this looks on camera. Yeah, as you can see, there's much more of a glossy finish on this. And yeah, the goal of this one, I kind of wanted to do a galaxy in the middle of the planet. I didn't quite figure it out. So I just sprayed this planet and I was like, let's go orange into blue into white. So you can't really see the blue, but the orange really pops. And I saw this technique of doing black and blue at the same time to make the galaxy a little more 
colorful. So I did that, and that was great. Um, so yeah, this one looks really cool. I appreciate that, and I like, yeah, the glossy finish, I think, makes the art pop a lot better. And so we did two more. So, kind of going with the two-tone sky thing, I went black and orange on this one. And I tried to do, like, a blue and gold planet. The planet, I'm not the happiest with. I think the blue is really uneven in the texture. Uh, but I like the black and orange sky, and I like the orange swoosh going across it. I think this one's one of my favorites. I think it just turned out really well. And my favorite one, this one. And, like, I know I'm going to... So you're setting up Artist Alley next year. Maybe. Maybe. This is a lot of fun. Um, I actually invited Randy to come to the house and work with us on this. He was busy. Um, this one's my, I'm the most proudest of right now. Because like I feel like this was a fully art-directed piece. And unfortunately, it's vertical. So I'm going to have to back up here a little bit. I love this one. So what's going on here? I first painted the moon. I went with white and black and then made this side really light, this side really dark for the light source. And then I saw this technique for like sky, so I started with black spray paint here, which transitions into blue spray paint, which at the very bottom, it actually trans transitions to a really light blue, which you can't really see anymore, but you still kind of get the effect of like the sky fading in. And then I, I, I flicked some stars on there and then the clouds. I was really scared to make the clouds. And you do that, you have to cut out a stencil and then you just spritz a little bit on. And I cut it in such a way that it looked really crappy. I thought these are going to make terrible clouds. And I just started spritzing it on. We tried it on a test one and I was like, oh, that looks really cool. And so spritz it on and the clouds ended up looking pretty good. I think next time I would use an X-Acto knife to make the, the cloud shapes a little softer. <clears throat> I think these came out a little too angular, but for like a first attempt, I was really proud of this one. This looks like a, like an art directed piece. Like I had an idea and I made it. <clears throat> here's like, there's a vision for it. Like, hey, it, there's the moon up in the sky above the clouds versus just like, here's a planet in space. Yeah, so that, that was the spray paint art. I hope you guys enjoyed those. Um, this is definitely something I'm going to continue pursuing.